Today we're going to try another recipe that is quick and easy and is going to um, be something that your family I think will enjoy. Again, all the items that you see, the primary items are on the WIC um, program and you can find the recipe on your WIC personal shopper um, on your phone that you have it installed or I will also be telling you the, the ingredients so you can write those down if you wanna to, want to do it and not have to go refer back to finding that recipe. So what we're making is crispy peanut chicken wings or legs. In my situation today, we're gonna to make legs, but you could use this with wings. You could even do it with chicken breast. So whatever you wanna use it with. Um, the neat thing is it's gonna have a couple different proteins that we will be using. And when I looked at it, I thought, this sounds interesting. So we're gonna go with it. And my family is going to eat it tonight. We'll see what they like. So what you need is two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. Yes, that's the interesting part. So you're gonna have two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. And in that, then you're going to add a fourth a cup of milk. And you're going to whisk that to make it so that it becomes smooth. We're gonna add one other item to it that's going to help it to blend and take the peanut butter and make it um, so it's gonna be easier to dip. We're gonna actually be dipping the chicken into this. And that is a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, so we've got a fourth of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And it is smooth. It is very smooth, so I'm gonna whisk that together. Then you're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ginger, so half a teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon out. If you don't have ginger, that's okay. If you have it, it's going to give it an interesting taste. And you can add either a clove of garlic, or if you have some garlic powder, you could add that as well. And I'm going to add a half to a fourth depending on how much garlic you like as well. It also um, calls for about an eighth of red pepper. My husband is allergic to pepper, so I don't put pepper in anything, but that would be good. So now I've got it really creamy. The next thing is we're going to be dipping our chicken legs. see me as it, get, as it as I go through it. So sometimes there's a delay and sometimes I'm not the food expert on the Food Network, obviously. So I'm gonna take my chicken legs and um, I'm going to put that in this peanut butter soy milk flavoring. I'm washing my hands again. I did that before, but I, my hands get dirty. So I'm just going to let it dip and sit in there for a few seconds because then I need to do the next part, portion of my recipe, which is going to be the crunchy part. And that's going to be, this time, we're going to be using corn checks. Okay, so corn checks, and we're going to have two cups of corn checks. We're going to put it in a big Ziploc bag and get the air out, zip it closed. I also suggest that you would double bag it because it's fun to get the kids involved and they can do some crunching. We can roll and roll out to make sure that we get it all broken up so it's gonna be very fine. Again, good for frustrations. We can bang around and, and get that worked out. So we're gonna have it very fine. And put this then on a plate so we can roll our chicken legs into it. So I'm going to make sure that I've got the peanut butter, soy sauce, all covered and soaking up on my chicken legs, chicken wings, whatever you would like. It, it's a little bit more of an Asian flair to it. The peanuts and the ginger. I love peanut butter, but I can't say I've ever had it on chicken, so this will be really interesting. Go ahead and try it and let me know what you think. Okay, so when I've got my liquids on there. I'm going to then put it and get it so that I'm gonna cover it with my cereal. The corn checks has been crushed. Another one. We'll roll that into our crushed 
cereal products. Cut it really good. Get my next part ready. I'm going to have a baking pan that has aluminum foil just for easier cleanup. And then I decided I'm going to bake some red potatoes with it also. Um, so I'm going to have chicken, red potatoes, and I'm going to have some broccoli steamed for later on. So that's going to go into the oven at 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And you want to make sure that it, that it is done. This is really thick. My chicken legs are really thick. So you want to use a meat thermometer and get it to about 165 um, so that we do kill the bacteria. So crunch a lot of that on. I'm going to spray my aluminum foil. Put my chicken onto it. Then you can pack on some more. I like a lot of crunch. I like a lot of texture in my food. And then it does suggest that you do spray across the top just so that it, the, the cereal doesn't get burnt. So I'm going to spray across my red potatoes as well. And I'm going to put that in the oven at uh, 400 for about 25 minutes. I've got some done though. So when we've got it finished, they bake up really nice with a nice texture. And something better than um, something that's just a plain with just some seasoning, it gives it some texture. And again, we didn't fry these. We just put them in the oven for at 400. So tell me what you think, and I hope you like this crispy peanut butter chicken wings. Bye.